72 in Pasadena. Los Dodgers de Los Ángeles y toda la emoción del béisbol en el test. This donut is not Cambodian tradition, it's American style. We just learned from American. We don't know how to do it. Our donut shop is open um, 24 hours a day, um, 364 days a year. Um, except for New Year, that's the only day it's closed. Whenever I can, if I don't have school, I, I come here to help out. I work in the donut shop every day, yeah. and uh, my children come to help me Saturday, Sunday, sometimes, yeah. And I work seven days a week. I work here because I want to help my parents. And I work here on the weekends because I have school on the weekdays. I work about at least 12 hours a day for myself. And my wife about more than eight. <laughs> I give my dad credit because, you know, he works here like every day, um, you know, no vacation and everything. So we could have like a better life. So. I want to go to school and finish school, so I don't have to work as hard, you know, every day, seven days a week. We've been in the donut business in this place before riot, I think, six years, and after riot, three years, all together nine years. I work here occasionally when someone's out or someone's sick or when my parents need the extra help because I'm basically kind of busy with school. I make uh, donuts about uh, 1,000 to 1,400 a day. Every day it's either one of us works here, me or my sister. We've been married for 24 years, for 24 years. My mother works here at night. Um, she works every day, Monday to um, Sunday. When we escape from our homeland to the uh, international camp Red Cross in Thailand. I brought my sister, my, my, my old sister, and then my younger sister. And at my wife's side, we, we brought uh, my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law. I have cousins that also own um, donut shops too. Um, all around LA, um, in um, Cerritos and Hollywood, I have cousins, a lot of them. Yeah, everybody owns donut shops. And sometimes, like, um, since our community, there's many different races here. It's not just, like, all Cambodians and all Latinos. And it's really hard because sometimes their frustrations or their angers are taken out on us because, like, 90% of the Cambodian culture owns donut shops. And I think that they feel like we're taking a lot out and not putting back in which is not really true because it's been a struggle for us to survive and to maintain this one donor shop has been a really um, big struggle in itself. My both parents, they were dead in 1977 for starvation. starvation. And uh, I lost my first brother, I didn't see where he go. And uh, my second brother, he's were dead in starvation, but uh, I brought all the kids here. Now they live in North Long Beach, and they own donut shop too. Most of my um, the customers tell us, yeah, we've been to this donut shop and that donut shop, and they're all Cambodian. And they even learn how to speak Cambodian a little bit and everything, yeah. They could say thank you and all that. My hope that I escaped for freedom since 79, just to get a better life, more freedom, and just for all my kids have a high education. That, that, that said, if I fulfill that feeling, is all my kids, they graduate from university, I will stop doing this kind of business. <laughs> I'm very tired, but maybe 60 years old. <laughs> During the riots, my dad and I drove by here to check up on the store. And we saw like looters and vandalism and everything. And they're all like um, breaking the windows and everything. And my dad was like, oh, it's okay, because as long as they don't burn the place, it's like windows can be fixed and everything else.
my son and I, we came like at 7 o'clock the same time, on the same day, we came dry around and we saw a lot of people just <laughs> break the window all over about uh, seven, 7 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I told my son, just go back home and sleep and rest. <laughs> we don't know what to do. With. About, uh, I think about 9, 10 o'clock, we saw the whole building burn down. My li little daughter, she started crying, and she, she said, Oh, Mommy, we, uh, our donut shop burned, so what are we going to do? <laughs> and I said, Oh, okay, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Everybody upset, yeah. From that time, we, we don't have any money. We actually saw, you know, the, the, our store burn down and on TV. And um, it was weird because, you know, we actually witnessed, you know, our future, you know, going down. I lost everything from what I sell because I don't have a job. And uh, I had to pay a lot of bills every month. So, like I started over now. <laughs> My dad worked for a long time to get his business up. And this is the only business we have. And, you know, and like now we have to start over and everything. Yeah, very hard that time. Very, very hard. That uh, I got four kids that time. So, uh, just complete paralyzed, stay home, sick. <laughs> you don't know what to do. And that really affected me because I know how much the business meant for my dad and everything. Coming to this country with nothing. I think that people kind of um, have this strange image of Asians and that we own all of the businesses around here and everything comes very easily and that money just flows in and out. But it's not like that. I mean, it's, it's really hard to maintain a business and we only own one business so we're basically just um, working here to pay the bills and to get the necessities out of life and it's not really a luxury that we have and it's really hard and people don't see that. But I feel strong like I'm still like a mid 40 and I just make a new decision that I have to you know, be strong like when I came, the first, like uh, when I tried to escape for freedom in 1980, so I'm going to start over. Doesn't matter how difficult. Well, it's true, Cambodia, I'm, I'm not um, familiar with donuts, but we have our own dessert. And um, the, the ones that are born here and live here longer are used to donuts. You know, so the ones, the younger ones, do eat donuts. It's a very hard work. I have to work seven days a week. That's why I just uh, advise to all my kids to un understand, to know how the basic income that we provide to them, so uh, so they know all about, so they may do better at school. But I do like donuts. We do like donuts. <laughs> we love donuts. <laughs> I was sick of donuts. <laughs> I'm taking business. I want to graduate. Business management and like international trade. And, you know, hopefully open my own business myself, you know, but not a donut shop. <laughs> Maybe like some other business. Just hearing from another one of our KNX tipsters who says on the 5 northbound just before the 710 interchange, we have another disabled big rig. This one's tying up the right lane. Really, it's the wrong lane, and it'll definitely have your drive wronged back into Orange County as you head into the East Los Angeles interchange this morning. Speeds are from the Orange County line about 5 miles an hour. 57 freeway northbound just before the 60 interchange in Diamond Bar. Another two-car crash also heading down into downtown Los Angeles on the Pasadena freeway south bound just before via Marisol. Another two-car crash in the far right lane. Meanwhile, in the valley, the 101 eastbound just before White Oak Avenue. Another two-car crash is just now...